In this video, I want to address a question I'm asked all too often. Where did my flight plan go? Created or imported a flight plan? Jumped into my aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, only to find all the waypoints deleted, I've only got departure and arrival points. Or perhaps the flight plan looks totally different to what you planned. In this video, I'll show you how to avoid that problem and bypass many of the bugs within the flight planning system. Warm welcome as always to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thanks very much for watching and let's get started. This video applies to anyone importing flight plans into the Sim, excluding those using Sim Brief. To demonstrate this, let's jump into Free Flight and the World Map. During this video, we're going to be looking and comparing a number of flight plans. The World Map is currently a little bit cluttered with cloud showing. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to clean the map up a little bit. Firstly, go to Flight Condition. Make sure you're on live weather, as this allows the changes to be made. We can now return to the world map, select the layers icon, then click on advance. Under the weather layer, I just want to turn clouds off. That makes the world map a little bit clearer. I'm currently using the satellite map, as it shows the topographic information. Select the layers icon to get rid of the menu. Then we're going to select tab to bring up the EFB, the electronic flight bag. OK, we're ready to start, so let's import a flight plan. We're going to select the route icon. Currently, we have no flight plan loaded. The problem you may encounter with lost waypoints will apply regardless of the source of importing the flight plan, either via the web, directly from the PC, or via the cloud. If you're not up to speed on loading from the web, this relates to the Microsoft Flight Simulator Planner, a separate browser-based planning suite linked directly to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Check out this video for more details on how to use it. Link in the notes below this video. However, to start, I'm going to select the load PLN file and I'm going to load from the PC. I'm going to locate my file and import it. This flight plan is a route across the Canary Islands. We've now loaded the flight plan into the FB, but not into the aircraft or the sim yet. We haven't spawned at an airport. Would be useful if the FB centered on the flight plan, but it doesn't do that. We'll just scroll across the map portion of the flight plan. There it is. Make it full screen. And let's just take a moment to have a look at the flight plan so we can identify any changes that may happen in the future. We're departing Lanzarote over the Fuerteventura VOR, over La Palma and on to Tenerife, which includes a user-defined waypoint over the top of the volcano, then on to our final destination. That flight plan looks fine. It's exactly as I planned. We can also check the flight plan data and all the various waypoints. There they are. I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and select send to load it into the aircraft and into the sim itself. Once loaded in, it should be visible on the world map as well. We can check that. Let's close the FB. Once again, the world map doesn't focus on where the flight plan is. Hopefully they'll fix this in the future. So once again, we'll scroll across and have a look. And already I can see it's exactly as we planned. Lanzarote over Fit of Ventura that has loaded incorrectly. One small annoyance you may note from time to time this part of the route is obscured by the terrain. That's not even the highest point on the route. But anyway, I digress. At this point, if you were to start your flight, you would find the flight plan would load correctly and you'd be good to go. Now, many pilots would select their aircraft, load their flight plan, then perhaps head over to flight conditions to adjust the weather time of day or something along those lines. And this is where the problems start. Let me show you. I'm currently on live weather. Perhaps we want to make a few adjustments. Let's go to a preset. Let's say few clouds. We'll leave everything else as it is. Let's save and head back to the world map before we start our flight. And it's immediately obvious our flight plan is gone. All we're left with is our start and end points plus one or two nav points for our final approach. In effect, the sim has created its own auto route. But remember, we've already sent the flight plan to our aircraft, so that should be unaffected, right? Well, we can check that. Let's start the flight and have a look at the aircraft itself. Today, we're in the Vision Jet G2. Select Ready to Fly, and we're going to jump into the cockpit and have a look at the navigational data, which should be displayed on the Garmin 3000 units. There it is. Let's just make it full screen. We've spawned at the correct airport on the correct runway. But that's not our flight plan. That's the auto-generated one. Let me right mouse click on this button here. Brings up the scroll pad. Now we can scroll across the map display. 
and we can confirm it's a direct route and not the one that we sent to the avionics. So in summary we can say if you enter flight conditions after entering the flight plan, the EFB resets and auto routes, overriding your flight plan in the EFB in addition to overwriting the navigational data that's sent through to your aircraft. There are however two workarounds to avoid this problem. Firstly and obviously don't enter flight conditions, adjust your weather, time etc from the top toolbar once you've spawned at the airport or secondly and if you've spawned at the airport and it's the incorrect flight plan do the following. Bring up the EFB then select reset to clear the flight plan data. I often do it twice just to make sure that information is gone. Then go ahead and re-import your flight plan. I could once again import from my PC as previously but just for variety I do have it via the Microsoft Flight Simulator Flight Planner. Flight plan has come through, it looks alright. I'm now going to send that to the ATC and Avionics and that should update the in-sim navigational data and put me back on track for my flight. I've closed the FB and I can see the data on the G3000 has changed. Once again I can right mouse click on this dial to bring up the scroll function and I can now scroll through just to check that everything looks right. Just going to zoom in a little bit so I can see a bit more detail and scroll through everything looks good. I'm back on track I don't have to restart my flight. My user waypoint is there. I'm good to go. I'm not sure if it's a Sobo or perhaps more likely working title but a considerable amount of work is still required for the flight planning to be intuitive. In the second part of this video I just want to touch on a few points that you may find frustrating particularly if you've used the previous version of this sim. In Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 it was fairly simple and straightforward to plan directly on the world map. Not so in the 2024 version. This is an auto route that has been generated and to all intents and purposes you can't delete any of the waypoints or change them. You'll spend an age here trying to get a flight plan together. Now this is not necessarily a bug but if you want to create your own flight plan and you don't want to use the Microsoft Flight Simulator Planner or any other third party products such as Little Nav Map, the easiest and quickest way is make sure you're working with a blank canvas. If you've got a flight plan loaded use the reset option. You can then enter the data in the fields provided or plan directly from the map itself. We're still in the Canary Islands. I'm going to select Lanzarote as our departure point. Not going to follow the previous flight plan exactly. I'm just going to put in a number of waypoints and create a flight plan. Using it is pretty intuitive and you'll find it fairly straightforward and you're able to create a basic flight plan very quickly and easily with an option to bypass SIDS and STARS if that's what you want to do. There we are, there's a basic flight plan, I'm done, that's my arrival. That'll do for now, now bring back the data. Got my departure points, various waypoints and arrival. You can edit and make changes as required. You can save this flight plan for future use if you want to. Once you're happy you can then send that through to the sim and through to the aircraft. And you're good to go. My flight plan should be displayed correctly on the world map. There it is, all looking good. Just a reminder, once the flight plan's loaded, if you go to flight conditions, it's going to reset everything and auto route. Even if you don't change anything. I've entered flight conditions, I'm going to make no changes and go back to the flight plan. And you can see some crazy stuff has been going on here. Enough said. There's one more anomaly that may pop up in your flight planning. And it seems to occur more often when you've got heliports planned in as waypoint. Here's a flight plan covering the Faroe Islands. Imported it via my PC. All the data points are there. Flight plan looks correct. So I'll send it on through to the ATC and Avionics. Still centered on the Canary Islands. So I'm just going to have to change that. Let's move up to the Faroe Islands. There they are. Let's zoom in. And whilst the flight plan was correct in the EFB, you can see here it's vastly different on the world map seems to have bypassed almost all the heliports and instead on the world map it's drawn a straight line between our departure and our arrival. If we enter flight conditions we'll get the same problem as before but if we just simply go and start our flight we're going to jump into the Bell 407 to assess what flight plan has actually been loaded. Let's take a look at the GNS 530. We can zoom out 
And we can see in this instance that the flight plan is exactly that, that is reflected in the EFB. So when you have a lot of user waypoints or heliports in your flight plan, trust the information on the EFB and not necessarily on the world map. As mentioned before, if you want to avoid all these problems, I recommend you spawn at your departure point. Then within the EFB in the aircraft, import your flight plan. You can then go ahead and adjust the weather, time of day, etc. Comfortable in the knowledge, the information will be correct. Well, I hope some of this has helped you deal with some of the flight planning problems you may be encountering. As always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you soon. And ciao for now.